Stafford here from Adventure Kiteboarding. I want to show you some different dry suits and how they differ and the advantages that there might be in the different dry suits for you. So this is the Ocean Rodeo Sole dry suit and what I like about this one, and it's my personal suit, is the dry socks. They call them soft socks. I don't know why they call them soft, but they're dry is what they are. It's the same material as the wetsuit right through your foot. So your foot stays dry. For me, that means that I can put on a nice wool or polypropylene sock inside my dry suit, put this on, slips right into my boot. It doesn't bind or grab or anything like that like latex does. I do have to wear a slightly larger boot, but that's okay. So I go up a size or two in my neoprene boots, but my feet stay dry. My feet then stay warmer and I can last longer on, this, on the water. Um, all the other features about the sole, you probably already know about, um, you know, the integrated hood you can zip off, the relief valve, you know, zipper, the harness hook hole, all that stuff, it's all there, but the real advantage, I think, this is, is the spots. NPX Lucifer. This particular one is way too big for me. This is a large, and uh, obviously it's too long for me, but some nice features on this one are that it has ankle cinches. So you can cinch up the ankle and tighten it up so it doesn't um, drag on the ground when you're walking around on the beach. Obviously it has the hook hole in the front, two of them, one upper and one lower. So you can you know, adjust if your harness is a little lower, a little higher. And of course a relief zip, that's a nice feature. So a very nice uh, dry suit, but this particular one is just a little too big for me. Um, if you're into Neopride, NPX, Cabrina, and you're kind of brand loyal, this is the dry suit for you. <laughs> this is the Mystic Volcanic dry suit. A little different in that this one is a four millimeter neoprene dry suit. Still has latex seals for the ankles, wrists, and collar, but it's a neoprene suit, so you get a little more form fitting. You have some built in insulation right off the bat, uh, reinforced knees, and reinforced seat, so it takes a little bit of the abrasion. You have wrist straps so you can tighten it down once you put your gloves on and for those of you who are a little concerned about ripping tearing a dry suit how do you repair it well this sort of alleviates that because it's a regular wetsuit material so a regular aqua seal will work on this if you can get in and out yourself with the zip on the front which is hidden underneath here so you can get yourself in and out you don't need help integrated key pocket on the inside and a built-in hood, neoprene hood as well, which you can snug down and snap. So for the really extreme weather, you don't need to do a separate hood if you don't want to. And the collar is built high as well to cover some of your neck and shins so you're not always out in the wind. And that is the Mystic Volcanic. And you can still layer up underneath if you want to, if you want to be even warmer. So, three dry suits from Adventure Kiteboarding, you can check out and decide which ones are best for you.